Welcome to the Best of Watch Mojo. In this series, we're turning back the clock to show you some great early videos from the channel that you might have missed. May they stay forever young. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. I see him every day, it's still not enough. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who look young for their age. <laughs> For this list, we're focusing specifically on male actors who inexplicably never seem to get older. Sorry, you feel that way, but basically it's the nature of the beast. Number 10, Rob Lowe. Don't you give up on me. We could probably still get an annulment. No! Remember that slick TV producer with all the hair gel from Wayne's World? I just opened my mouth and out it came. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky man, Mr. Vanderbilt. <laughs> well, that was a late 20s Rob Lowe, and decades later, he's managed to retain his relevancy in direct TV ads and by starring in Fox's The Grinder. So clear to me now. Dad was a great lawyer. You're a great lawyer. I became a character who's a great lawyer. I should be doing it, for real. Oh, and he's yet to hit the distinguished gray phase that someone like Alec Baldwin has so wonderfully embraced. Cool guy here, Mr. Sexy Pants. No, Mr. Lowe isn't quite ready for the salt and pepper, and he's still capable of selling products and sitcoms with his youthful looks alone. Scientists believe that the first human being who will live 150 years has already been born. I believe I am that human being. Number nine, Paul Rudd. I will see you there or I will see you on another time. That was very confusing. I don't know what, if you're gonna come or not. No, I'll be there. It's hard to be jealous of someone with such a friendly visage, but come on, Paul Rudd, how do you do it? Are you saying you care about me? Wasn't it just yesterday that he and Cher hooked up in Clueless? Oh, that was a couple of decades ago? Can I see what you're writing? Actually, Lindsay, only three people are allowed to look at this. Me, myself, and I. This guy's been around so long that his 2001 film, Wet Hot American Summer, received a Netflix update nearly 15 years later. Check this out. Katie, you gonna be around later? Um, yeah. Cool. So am I which clearly demonstrated that Paul Rudd has a case of the Benjamin Buttons, as he seems to be reversing in age. And what's even more astonishing is that he's more hilarious than ever. Ah, nice lady shorts, McKinley. Yeah, I got them from your mom's dresser. Oh, <coughs> good one. Hey man, don't make fun of the guy who dresses my mom. Number eight, Jim Parsons. Leonard and Penny. <laughs> 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 Let's be clear, you probably don't know this Texas native from anything other than the Big Bang Theory, even if he's been in the entertainment industry since the early 2000s. So, Tim, how long have you been working at Medieval Times? Three years, but I've only been a knight for two. You have to pay your dues. To pull off a character like Sheldon Cooper, one must have that rare ability to remain forever young, both in appearance and spirit and Jim Parsons has that special formula. What do you guys do for fun around here? Well, today we tried masturbating for money. <laughs> In fact, a large majority of his fan base probably believes that he's actually the same guy from TV. And while that's certainly not the truth, the hand of God has surely touched him since he never seems to age. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Number seven, Tom Cruise. Love him or hate him, Tom Cruise continues to handle his business at the box office, decades after arriving on the scene. How come I always gotta play the jerk? I mean, why can't we have a hustle when I win? Because this is better than that. I mean, there's something at the end of this. In the mid 80s, he was pool sharking with Paul Newman and flying an F-14A Tomcat in Top Gun. Where did you see this? That's classified. And somewhere along the line, he decided that aging was not an option. Arigato. Okay, <laughs> okay, maybe he tweaked his appearance here and there, but the fact remains that many older movie stars don't and can't pull off their own stunts. <laughs> Case in point, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Tom Cruise has stayed in shape, and that iconic face never seems to change. Crazy, right? Yeah, crazy. Number six, Tobey Maguire. Telly ho. Every so often, Tobey Maguire decides to make a movie, and it kills at the box office. 
Why? Well, first of all, he's a phenomenal actor, but he's also capable of playing someone between the age of 14 and 30, even if he's a bit older than that. Let's see what you got, boy. Ha! 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 Believe it or not, Maguire actually had an uncredited role in the 1989 Fred Savage film The Wizard, which doesn't scientifically seem possible given that he still likely has to flash his ID just to buy a drink. Hey, hey to the right! I like you, guys, Billy! Don't worry about me! Wait a How old is Tobey Maguire? Well, no one knows for sure. Let's just say he may be the real Nick Carraway. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Keanu Reeves Who are you guys? We're you, dude! No way. Now here's an actor that truly understands how to maintain a movie star persona. It's all about the hair. Think about it. Have you ever seen Keanu Reeves without long hair? If everybody will stay in your seats and remain calm, we should be able to defuse the problem. Okay, calm down, Mojoholics. That's a hypothetical question. But we can all agree that long-haired Keanu is better than short-haired Keanu simply because it means that he'll continue to grace the screen with his youthful presence. I've got my rights. You can't keep me here forever. I didn't do anything. That was exactly your mistake. No, he's not the best actor of his generation, but he's certainly one of the most important. And given his enduring reputation as a timeless star, there's plenty more Keanu to come. Also, how many actors do you know have spawned an internet campaign that tries to gather evidence of his so-called immortality and or that he's possibly a vampire? You, uh, working again? No, I just sorting some stuff out. Oh, well. I'll leave you be then. Number four, Will Smith. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. So, what's the deal with this guy? How does one make gold records in the 80s, conquer TV in the 90s, destroy the box office in the 2000s, and still manage to look like a college student? Oh! Oh! Hold on, we think we know the answer. Perhaps it's because Will Smith has kept the exact same haircut and facial hair for a good 25 years. Just do a Google image search and you'll see what we mean. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come At this point, a grizzled and bald-headed Will Smith would only cause permanent emotional damage to his rabid fan base, as they've become accustomed to his clean-cut facade. Give me one f***ing reason why I shouldn't do it. I'm drawing a blank. What? I think you should shoot me. Let's be honest, you've been aggrieved. Number three, Samuel L. Jackson. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! You may not realize it, but this legendary actor is actually 85 years old. Okay, he's not, but given his 100 plus acting credits, it seems like he's been around since the 40s. No, 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 no. You need to go. But here's the thing. Even though he made his film debut in 1972. People, my stomach's been grumbling, but help has arrived. My main man Mookie has saved the day straight from Sal's famous pizzeria up the block. Samuel L. Jackson didn't become a Hollywood name until he was close to 40 years of age. And some diehard fans may remember him as Eddie Murphy's uncle from the 1987 stand-up special Eddie Murphy Raw. <laughs> That boy's got talent! He's now recognized as one of the most admired actors of his day. And he's certainly paid his dues, yet his greatest accomplishment may be his victory over Father Time. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. Number two, Jared Leto. Hey, I know that girl. Oh my God! Angela? He was an ABC heartthrob in the early 90s, and upon growing a Jesus-like beard, he went on to even bigger things as the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars. With a filmography containing modern classics like Fight Club and American Psycho. Well, I could tell you that, Halberstram, but they don't have to kill you. 
<laughs> Jared Leto has established a cinematic legacy, and if you weren't convinced by 2013, his transformative and Oscar-winning role in Dallas Buyers Club sealed the deal. Relax, I don't bite. I guess you're handsome in a Texas hick white trash dumb kind of way. Only a select few can sport a thick beard while keeping a youthful vibe. And when Jared Leto does shave his thick mane, he usually just looks like a slightly older version of Jordan Catalano. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, hey, look alive! Uncle Jesse's here! There you are, you little grave bastard. Oh, oh, dude, dude. I, First I, of all, I, I love it. You're you the best. You killed it. You killed it. Look, I say it slow for you. Look, I need five thousand, five thousand dollars. Read my lips. Five thousand dollars is what I need. This is bullshit here. This guy's the big time criminal. Hey, what you say? All right, guys, take it easy. He's totally qualified. He's been arrested a bunch of times. He pays no income tax. And he's got two Doberman Pinchers. So let's show him some respect. Dude, that's very impressive. See? Told you, man. Told you, man. Hand me the beer. You, me me you don't know shit about the shit we're in out here, and neither do I. I don't belong here, man. Number one, LL Cool J. My radio, believe me, I like it. In the same year that James Todd Smith released his debut album, Radio, he appeared in the Def Jam film, Crush Groove. And while he's proven that ladies do in fact love Cool J, no one can grasp the concept of his inability to age. For that song, music's biggest night, and our show had to change. No, it's not his endless lip licking that does the trick, and probably not even his well-groomed presence. Gonna chalk it up to physical fitness and hard work. You were trying my last nerve. Don't make me drown your feathery ass. That's right. One can stay young by taking care of oneself. And with one look at LL Cool J, you can tell that he's lifted a dumbbell or two. After all, you don't need to be a movie star to buy a gym membership. A great performer knows when it's time to get off the stage, kid. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite actor who looks young for his age? Hey, 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 Mr. Miyagi, look! It's the usual sex, rage, my mother. For more mind blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm Rob Lowe, and I have DirecTV. And I'm poor decision making Rob Lowe, and I have cable. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.